This is What Drives You, powered by M-Drive, on IcetimeHockeySW.com. Hey, Michael here from M-Drive. My dad, a world-class scientist, actually made M-Drive for himself to stay active and continue enjoying life. And yes, M-Drive supports healthy testosterone, but it's so much more. M-Drive is the everyday supplement to fuel your drive with more energy and more strength. Listen, we'd love for you to try M-Drive too. Visit mdriveformen.com and we'll give you 20% off your first purchase. Just type in the code DRIVE at checkout. Refind your prime with M-Drive. Welcome in, hockey fans in the desert southwest. It's 2020. I'm doing a special segment right now on a guy that I've been wanting to do a segment with for a while. Connor Hetzel is with me. Ah, Connor, what do I say, man? I mean, you shocked the heck out of me because I've been waiting to do this interview about your hockey skills, and all of a sudden you bring out this music video, and I'm going like, wow, where did this come from? Tell me about the hockey career first, and then we'll get into music. Yeah, well, I, I grew up playing hockey. Um, you know, lived, growing up in Alaska. Right. You know. You know, you got the outdoor ice all the time, so, you know, nothing but skating. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. So, let's touch on that. Alaska to Las Vegas. How does that happen? Yeah, well, um, I played juniors in Atlanta, and I went to a Boston Showcase, and that's where Greener scouted me. Okay. And he's like, hey, come down to Vegas, you know, we'll show you around. And I fell in love with campus right. and school, and How the could program's you not, right? great. And, you know, I was really happy to see that they're striving for going NCAA. Right. And I was like, hey, I'd love to be part of that. Sounds great. Okay, so now you've had a few years under your belt now. Yeah. What's yeah. it been like for you? It's been a crazy ride. I've been so proud to be part of this program. Uh, every single guy has come here. They they work so hard, and you know they're they're proud to be a part of this program. So I'm, it's great. It's been a lot of fun. Okay, so I told you we talk hockey first. Let's talk music next. Okay. I, I see the guitar come out. I hear your voice. I'm going like, man, this is a star in the making. Got a little oh. YouTube stuff oh. going on, but. Tell me when that got started and what got you started in music. Well, thank you. Uh, I Actually, I picked up the guitar uh, a few years ago. Okay. I was like, hey, you know, I've always loved music. I always li loved listening to it. It's like, hey, I want to be able to do that, you know, myself. So, you know, I just, you know, just went on YouTube and looked up videos. And, you know, here I am. You know, i still got a long ways to go. Right. But I'm really happy with how far I've come as far as the, you know, music. And how great is it to have social media right now where you can put your stuff out there and have thousands of people, millions of people look at your stuff and hear yeah. your stuff? I mean, it's definitely changed. Like, the industry has changed where you don't need a record label to do all the marketing for you. Right. You can do it yourself. Yep. And so I, I, that just opens up the doors for anyone, you know, any kid can just pick up a guitar and record, you know, and send it out there. Okay, so so I heard some of the covers that you did. I thought they were great. You, you put out some more over the holidays. You went back home, right, to, yeah. uh, to Alaska. So tell me a little bit about the holidays. Oh, uh, I spend time with family, eating right? way too much food. You know, <laughs> everyone does that. So, I mean, no complaints here, uh, except shoveling driveways, you know, the snow back in Alaska. <laughs> I did not miss that. So, Well, I grew up in northern Minnesota, so I didn't miss right it on. either. But, yeah. Um, you know, this little segment I do is called What Drives You by our sponsor, M-Drive, right? And so what I like to do is dig into it and find out what drives you. What made you want to play hockey other than the fact that you grew up in Alaska? Honestly, I, I think what drives me about hockey is that it's the perfect skill of, like, or balance of brutality and just finesse. It's, it's Very good. the perfect mix, and I've, I've never seen it in any other sport, and I just love it for that. What was it like growing up in Alaska and playing hockey? Much different than here, or was it pretty much the same? Uh, it's, I'd say it's, it was different. I, I think it's a smaller town, you know, right. so, so everyone knows everyone, so everyone knows everything that's going on yeah. as far as hockey. <laughs> but the game itself, pretty much the, the same? Itself, I mean, the ice sheet is yeah. an ice sheet, right? Yeah, it's pretty consistent all the way through, actually. All right, I'll tell you, I grew up playing outdoor hockey. We played, I played on a team that finished the last team to play outdoor hockey games in high school. So uh, we put up with all the climate. You have to put up with outdoor ice up there? Uh, no, not for an, like any official games, just just for fun. But yeah, no, I can definitely understand, you know, <laughs> your fingers start to hurt, you know, right. they lock up and everything. That's not fun. <laughs> it seems that every slash you get, it hurts 10 times worse because it's cold. Here's what's funny. When I grew up in northern Minnesota and we were playing outdoor games, everybody hated to play us, right? Because yeah. it was an outdoor <laughs> game, but you had to. Yeah. Now we look at what happens January 1st every year with an outdoor game in the NHL. It's kind of gone full circle in my estimation. It's obviously <laughs> a little different. They're yeah. playing in Dallas and they yeah. have the best 
best of everything. True. How important would an outdoor game be in Vegas? I think that would be amazing. Yeah, yeah. that would be absolutely incredible. I'd love to see that. So where we sit right now, the Orleans Arena, you guys get a chance to play a couple of games here. Mm -hmm. I know you didn't end the first half of your season the way you wanted to, but how important is getting off to a good start against Jamestown tomorrow night? Oh, it's super important. I think, uh, you know, it's not ideal that we were, you know, losing, uh, you know, last couple of games, but, you know, I think it's a wake-up call, and I think that we're going to have a second half of the season that's going to be amazing. For those people that don't follow ACHA D1 hockey very closely, it's a mm -hmm. rankings game, right? So yeah, absolutely. you need to build the rankings in order to get into the national tournament, and then mm -hmm. your seeding is determined by where you fit within those rankings. Mm -hmm. You guys have experienced it before. You've mm -hmm. been to Ohio. You've been to Dallas. How far, how, how far do you have to move up those rankings to feel comfortable? Um, to be honest, uh, I think we just need to focus on getting as high up in the rankings as possible rather than just saying, oh, once we've reached this point, we're okay, we can take it easy. Coach Screener just sat down with me for a few minutes and he said he wants you guys to take it one period at a time. He said if you win every period, you're going to win every game. You're Absolutely. Gonna take care of yeah. itself. Is that hard to do? Uh, yeah, I think most people, they, they're thinking too far in the future when, you know, you really need to focus on the now, right. especially. And I think, you know, just focus on baby steps. If you do little things, it adds up to big victories. Okay, so you started off the season here really well, right? You guys ran the table just about at home. You yeah. beat everybody. Yeah. What happened? Can you put a finger on what happened and you started losing some close games or is it just uh, one of those things? You know, I, I, I th there's a lot of people with a lot of opinions and, oh, we need to do this or that. And to be honest, I don't know. I think it was just one of those things. It's flukes, honestly. It's bad and, bounces. You know, when you look around, and you've been here long enough now to see the growth in ACHA hockey, yeah. the teams are, are no pushovers anymore. Are there? I mean, no, absolutely Everybody not. you get is a, is a solid opponent. Yeah, it's, it's incredible with how fast the league is growing skill-wise. Yeah. Like, it's amazing. All right, let's wrap it up by talking your music again. What do you want to do with music? How far do you want to take this thing? Oh, I mean, I'd love to take it as far as I can. I mean, I... Yeah, that would be amazing to be able to make a living doing music. Like, that sounds like an amazing <laughs> life. So you're doing covers right now. You ever write your own stuff or want to write your own stuff or yeah. want to sing original stuff eventually? Yeah, I, I've got a few songs in the bank. Ah. Yeah. Are they out there yet or not yet? No, not yet. All right, let's plug it. The YouTube channel is? Uh, Connor Hetzel Music. They're simple enough right there. What, what, what's the teammates? What, what's everybody saying about that? Everybody wants you to bring the guitar on road trips and start doing a little stuff? Or? Yeah, no, I don't, I don't know about that. I'm, I'm, I'm afraid I'll break it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame you. ACHA hockey is not NCAA hockey yet, but yeah. the venue that you're in right now is definitely a step towards that. I talked Absolutely. to Coach Greener about what it would be like to be able to move you guys over here permanently. You'll be gone probably by the time that happens, but how important is it to say you were part of the building block that got uh, UNLV hockey to where it's trying to go? Absolutely. That was honestly the number one reason why I came here. Like, I wanted to be a part of this building this program. So. All right, Connor Hetzel, you heard it. The man with the music and the man on the ice. Good luck on the ice. Thank you. The, the rest of this run, and let's get you back to Dallas first of all, and then who knows, maybe there's a music career coming out of Dallas or something. <laughs> Sounds good. Thanks for sitting down with us. Thank you. You spend my nights out in barrooms Liquor was the only love I'd known But you rescued me from reaching for the bottom And brought me back Being too far gone Tennessee whiskey You're as sweet As strawberry wine You're as warm As a glass of brandy Honey, I see stones On your love of the time Found the bottom of the bottles always dry. For when you pour.
out of your heart I didn't waste it Cause there's nothing like your love Get me high Oh, you're as smooth As Tennessee whiskey Time. 